Cool. So let's do another tutorial on in painting. And this one I prepared this when it was a request, no, a specific request how to change hair. Okay, the color of the hair, something like that. So let's work again here. We're going to focus in paint anything, which is fantastic. And here I have a few images. So basically let's work with this one. Let me put here and the idea here, and let me go back and put it here. We have this image and just simply change the hair. Okay, so we have an idea how it, how it works. Always, I want to remind you, check properties of the images. So if you have something, so this one, it was, this is generated with Confi UI, by the way. So if you have something very large, be careful that segmentation can be very time consuming. So basically what we need to do, run segmentation. So let me do it here. And okay, so we have our result here and we can do what we can do now is just simply we can set it here, here, create mask and it's going to select the hair and this is it. Okay, so be careful that sometimes when doing the selection, see that here it can generate a little bit more. So my advice is try to remove this one because sometimes it can slow down things or it can at some strange artifact. It's not absolutely compulsory. What I like to do it, it's not that time consuming. So you can go and raise that. See it here in the ear also centering a little bit. Here also you have it in the neck. So you can do the selection there. And then trim mask. And there you go. So let's also expand the mask a little bit. Okay, so you need it here precisely what you want to expand to, to get a little bit more hair, but also to get more details about you know, these regions that are there entering here. So let me erase here, 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 here. We also can erase this and trim mass. And this is okay. So the goal here, let's change the color of the hair. That's all, simple as that. So in this case, we can focus in painting or in painted with wet UI. So this is the one for uh, in painting anything. So it will use these models and you have these options. But what is interesting is you look here, advanced option, it doesn't give you access to to the to the, to the, uh, is the noise strain. So by default, it's going to use the maximum if I read very well what it's doing. So if you want to get access to that one, you can use it in painting wet UI. So if you go here, see that you have this train. So it's up to you. So let's work in this one. So let's say that I want to change the color of the hair. And let me say that I want to put blue hair. So you have, you need to give the prompt here, okay? What you want to change, blue hair. So something interesting to mention here that you have to be careful because sometimes can be a little bit tricky, like we say, I want blue hair, but in the background, I have this guy that is blue. Sometimes that can give you problems here. Also, you see that you have here a little bit blue, so that can give you problems. So let's see what happens, but be aware of that. So everything, so original, fill, Latin noise, Latin noise. Remember that that would be one to add an object here. Maybe you can use it, but it's okay. So 30 steps, this one, and let me increase this one to 0.9 and here you can choose your model. So I think I, this one dream shaper is very good, but let me use realistic vision. Remember when you're working here is using by default the dimension of the image. So if I go here, when I did the segmentation, it detected the dimension. So see that it's doing that. So that's why you have to be careful now when importing the image, the image that you are using. Because also when you do the painting, as you have a large image, can be very time consuming, but also you have dimensions that the ones that were not used with the model, you know, to train the model that can give you problems. So at this point will be very straightforward. I click here and let's see what happens. Also here, if you check here, it will tell you the dimension of the image and so on. So let's see what we get. This should be fast. This is not so, so big image and hopefully it will, we're going to get a good result or acceptable result. So I'm not going for perfection here. 
Um, very cool, I think. Okay, so still you still have a little bit blonde hair, so you can get an idea that you need just to increase the the mask to get you know that that part of the hair. But this is very very nice. Okay, very cool result. Okay, so let's say that I don't want to reach perfection, but let's put a little bit more hair here. Also, there's something here. Also, something here also, so I can increase here the selection. Okay. Now, let me go here, so it will add some hair there as well. So you can put it there. Um, add mask. What else? We are having problems, so probably here also. Here it was already okay. I don't know what was happening. So this is also a, a little bit try and error. So this was the first composition, maybe. You do now more iterations. One of those will be a good one, will be much better. So let me go like this here. Okay. That mask. Um, let me expand this one a little bit. Okay, so let's now try this. And now we have this result. Okay, there you go. So I think, uh, honestly, I prefer this composition. I actually I really, really like this one. So for some reason, I'm making it with, with short hair. So this is very, very nice. So remember that you can do more iterations. So let's do this four iterations and let's wait a little bit. Okay, so we have the final result and see here that this is what we have. So quite cool. Honestly, the one with the short hair, that was fantastic. I really like that one. And there you go. So see that it's changing a little bit composition and very nice result. Okay, so look at that influence of the mask. Now we mask a bigger region, so it changed a lot the, the hair style. So yeah, this is... Uh, very nice example now how to change uh, the hair. So to mention also that you can use control neck just to be more, you know, to be closer to the hair style. So you can force that, you can use control neck. And there are some Lora also that you can, that can give you much better results. So let's do a final modification here. Let me, let me redo the mask here and what i want to do just to show you a large brush and let me select all this stuff here okay i don't want okay there and trim max so just to show you that also you can do it with one part of the hair so let me do like this because i want to select a little bit that region so maybe can add kind of a gradient when transitioning from one color to the other. So basically what I want to do, this region, put one color, this region, leave the original one. So let's say that now I want green hair and let's do something. Let me move to this one, green hair, just to show you. Uh, honestly here, I'd really like to use the Euler. Euler A Ancestral, I think that is stand, stand for. And let's go here, click there. And let's see what we get. And there you go. So fantastic results. So a very nice gradient transition here. Okay. Conserving here, you have the same style. And even here, it kept the same style as the original composition. Okay. So if you want, you can try more generations. So probably one of them, it will be all green and so on. So this is one way just to change the hair style. And as I mentioned, yeah, you can combine all this stuff with Lora and so on and, and control net. And just to go here, as you look in Civic AI, as you go into hair, you will see that there are many specific, you no know, Lora models, hair and that stuff and so on. Okay, so you have many models there. It call my attention that is quite funny that let me look here. I eyebrow. So there are even a lot of models too for eyebrow. So this is crazy. Eyebrows and eyelashes also. So this one for eyelashes. So okay. So 
big bikes that you have there that you have that that and there is one very nice lot i know this one fantastic detailer so you have this detailer so there are some other uh extensions a d tailor stuff like that that can add more detail like stuff for eyes skin and so on so you can detailers so you have eyes skins color for all this stuff you have it there and let me bring back the case of the cat wizard this one here and you see that, that this result that is that is fantastic this is the original one and then after that oxcaling that i put here i put a few lora so i combine all the oxcaling with lora so i have the two lora for the four and there is believe that there is a lora for whiskers and what else i think there was a fourth lora that i added there plus i added control net control neck to get the perfect shape of the cat also i add the control neck for the cloth here you now for the code so you see that it have a fantastic te texture but that is another lora model so that also and there is another lora for eyes so this resolves the reason the reason because they are so good because i added a lot of loras there okay so let's go back here i hope you have an idea of this case and let's move to another case second case hopefully the final one or probably we'll throw in a, a second case so this one here so we have this case let's move in paint anything put it here so we worked this case when we were doing the tutorial in comfy ui and this is the ox scale geometer so very nice so be careful always check your dimensions so these are dimensions i can manage this with my computer details so you have it here so it's a little bit high but i can manage this and i know the models will work fine okay i did this this is generated using those models so it should work fine but be careful about that and the first thing so what i want to do here i have the butterfly i want to change the color then i want to remove the butterfly and then i will change the color of the hair okay so pretty much as we did previously so the first step you have segmentation remember you have many models for me i'm super happy with this i invite you to test all of them you will need to download if you don't have them but i my benchmarking this performed really well so let's do the segmentation it will take a while probably one minute two minutes so let's wait for the result Okay, so we have the here the results. So if you look at the prone also, you can see that it's reading the image dimensions and so on. And this is what we have. We have this mask. It's a very good mask. Okay, so we have very nice results there. And at this point, let's say that what I wanted to do initially was the butterfly. Let me select the butterfly there, create mask, and I want to change the color of the butterfly. And there you you have. So you zoom in, it's a perfect mask. And in this case, I want to change the color. So I don't need any more context of what is behind. So for me, this is okay. So I want to change the color and I want to make that butterfly blue. So blue butterfly and you choose your model. So let me use the in paint in front and paint anything, anything that I need to change anything else. Uh, it's okay okay let me run this one and let's see what we have so as you run here also it's going to work with exactly the same dimension so be careful with your memory uh, let's wait for the result okay there you go so here we have our final image and as you can see it's pretty cool okay you have there the blue butterfly okay no objection could be better absolutely yes so you can put you no know, load them um, all the details better brushing but it is fantastic okay it's really really cool uh so now just show you this so for instance you can go let's do like this put it there well probably didn't need to do that okay i still have my mask there and let's say that now i want to select that okay i didn't change anything there besides the color so I can go here and I select the over a butterfly and let's say that I want to remove it. Okay, so now that I want to remove that butterfly, remember at this point, it will be important to increase the mask. Okay, to get a little bit more context, the colors, how to get a better 
interpolation. So let's see what will be a good value. So let's mess on here. So I think this will be okay. So see that here, you might need to click here to select that part there. Uh, mask. So all the check there. So sometimes there are some, and now, okay, perfect. Okay. I'm happy with this. Probably here also, let me increase a little bit. Uh, mask. And at this point, what I want to do, remove this. So to remove, okay, you can, so this will be tricky. So probably remember like NT and then you put hair. But if you put anti hair, probably we, we will erase the hair. I don't know if that works. I haven't tested, but here let's go with the cleaner, cleaner. That one is okay. You have different models. Llama is the best one, in my opinion, the best compromise, no resources, time and, and outcome. So let's wait for this result. And wow, that was fast. So there you go. So fantastic. So this is actually, this is fantastic. This is almost perfect. So no details at all, nothing there. Okay. Really, really, really nice. So there you go. Cleaning. Okay. And reconstructing the hair and all this region. Fantastic. So let me put it there. That is our new composition there. In this case, I need to rerun the segmentation. Okay. So let me run segmentation and let's wait for the new result. Okay, so here we are for so for some reason this segmentation was slower than the previous one, which by the way here now you can go here, get mask. No, for instance, you have the segmentation select here. So we want to work on the hair, you can get the mask here and you can save this. So here you have the mask and if you want to save it and then this mask, you can upload it. So you, you will need to repeat this segmentation in case that it is, it is time consuming. And also you can get you now the alpha channel, alpha channel with transparency. So that will be the background removal, let's say. So you get any idea there. So you get the invert there. So yeah, there you go. And um, just to mention that in this case, I want to change the color of the hair. So as usual, I always recommend you to see and to check now that you have everything there. So in this case, we have those details there. So if you want, you can remove them. Okay, so let me go and uh, let's remove some of those details here, some stuff here. So it will be fast. So set it here, 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 here. I don't need this. This is stuff. Okay. Here, here. Train. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Also train there. Train there, 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 there. there. Here, 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 here. And there you go. So I'm happy with this. And what, what I want, what do I want to do now is just change the color of the hair. So let me say pink hair and there you go. So use the method. So I, I use this dream shaper. So I think it's a very good method. So go here as you go dream shaper. You have here, and I think the paint models, okay, of uh, Dream Shaper in paint. Uh, this, where is that? I don't recall somewhere here. Okay, probably it's this one. I think you have the, okay, here you have the in painting. So you have Dream Shaper 8 in painting. You have many in painting. So sometimes you need to enter into the models to find those in painters. There are many of them. Uh, this Dream Shaper, in my experience, it works really, really well. I saw recently there is one of those Juggernaut meetups. There is an in painter. So somebody added an in painter for this. So I'm not sure. Let's see this brand diffusion. I don't recall where I saw that one, but yeah, you can just hunt 
for those models. So in this case, it will take a while. So, okay, there you go. Well, this was mentioned. And there you go. So you have your image there, which is pretty cool. So I'm happy with this, but if you are not happy with this, just run different generations and that's all. And if you want more realistic results, remember you have many lot of models for hair style for detailers no that can improve the hair even for the face and that stuff so just look for for those hair here and you have many of them that you can combine that with this pro with no problems so maybe in this case that will be a good one to add so leave it to you leave it to you to test it so to put those loda you just need to add it here in the keyboard okay so you put the the trigger war and that that should work okay so yeah yeah this is quite impressive very very nice result so yeah this is for all for this case so another thing that i want to mention about this case that i also test here in this case the ox scaling so we have the original image and then i put one of those crazy ox scaling so i moved to a much better computer in amazon so in this one i didn't add any any lot of it was original one and many passes and this is a crazy high resolution so i don't like the the ox scaling actually so look at the differences the skin here i know i don't know it changed a lot the skin i barely like this skin but in any case there are some some extension model for the skin and so on but let's let me zoom in the eyes so look at here it's crazy you know how the eyelashes eyebrows and well there are a lot of for that it's quite funny lips also is crazy resolve and now also i really like this detail here in this stone that you have here the you would you would do it. so there you go so look at that much much well resolve so there you go so this one now you go into late in the space it will try to to keep you no know, the same composition but then it will add some fantasy so see here that okay the butterfly uh, this is quite cool much better you know how it resolved that butterfly much better. What I don't like, so look at the original butterfly there. And here we have another one, but this one here was trying to make it realistic. So see that it was adding some some hair there. So they didn't like that, but I guess can be controlled also. So this is it now, and this is like scaling. Like scaling requires many, no, a lot of resources. Okay, so if you want to get these levels or in the previous videos that I work, I was using my local computer. I cannot get this level of details using this eight gigs of memory. So let me throw in a, a, a final tutorial, a bonus case. So this is the image. So an actual photo. Okay. So this is there, the a deer crossing the street. So basically what we want to do. So this is was from internet taken from internet. So here I just recognition to Ivana Kajina for the photo and I want to remove this one so we know what we need to do but here what would be interesting just to show you the big differences between not using the the standard model and the painting model so also always control resolution of the photo so this is a high resolution so no way my computer this is or it's going to work for this dimension but it's going to take forever so i don't want to wait forever so i change the resolution and i have this one here medium resolution so there are tools to do that and in the medium resolution i have this one so this one i can deal with that but when you change the resolution you lose details so i soon soon in See that I'm losing details. And what is funny here, you go here, way back here. I think that is an stop sign. Here I lost those details. Okay, so that's what you pay, the price that you pay for reducing resolution, but then you can add some ox scaling and maybe the ox scaling can reconstruct that. So let's say that I want to work in this one, on this one, and let me put it here. Okay, let me, okay, let me be super sure that I'm using the, okay, medium. Okay, you have to be super sure, otherwise it will be super time consuming. So what I want to do is to remove the deer. Uh, something cool also, sometimes if, already mentioned this, but you have, let me put it here, 
put the image you have here, the click interrogator. So you click there and it's, if you don't have idea about the prompt in your image, you can click there and this one can give you a good idea now, but here clearly it's like deer crossing a row in autumn. There are some trees, okay, uh, falling, whatever, but let's see what, what it will give this prompt. Okay, so we have the prompt here and see that a deer crossing a row in the middle of a forest with trees in the background and a sign in the middle of the road. So actually a sign, I don't see the sign, but honestly, I don't see the sign. Uh, and then it's giving some, some style there. So it's a very good, it's a very accurate prompt besides that sign. I don't know where it says that sign. Ah, probably it's this one. The street, the road there. Okay, so there is, you want, you have idea, you can do it like that. So let's do in paint anything and let me do segmentation. Hopefully it's not going to be super slow. And there you go. We have this segmented image and it's a very good, a very good result. So basically what we can do here, click there create a mask and I want to remove the deer there. So there, and in this case, remember to remove, you need to add some context, you increase there and that will be okay. You have it there, I'm happy with that. And cleaner, go there, cleaner, and this should give you a very good result. And there you go, fantastic. And even look at that in the street here and here you have the deer somewhere here and it's reconstructing that section. Now, this is because we're using the painting model now. So I'm quite happy with this result, but we don't need to, to use this segmentation. Now you can go and just select everything like this and you will get the same stuff. So add there and we run segmentation, we should get something similar. Okay. So sometimes you need to run this segmentation. So there you go. So you have this, this is a famous sign. So probably another, a different generation would reconstruct that. I don't know now is, but it's not a big deal. And let's say that now I have them painting and let's add our hero Pikachu. Okay. So put it there and happy with this. And now remember, now we remove, if you want to add something in your composition, it's better to, to select a large mask area. So if you choose this one, it's not going to be a very good result. Okay. So adding something, try to choose a large region or remove, reload the image like we did previously. And there you go. So this is fantastic. Your Pikachu there, very good. Okay, it's not very realistic. Then you can pay, play with your prompt, you know, that put photorealistic, whatever. But let's do here, like I choose this precise you know, region and let's increase here, you know, by five, the mask. And if I do this one, so basically we'll try to add the Pikachu in this mask region with this region, which is not perfect. So be careful about that. You know? And there you go. So this is what we have. It didn't add Pikachu. Probably it's the generation. See that here I added an strange line. So probably you try another one, but you can get the idea that this is not the perfect mask to add an object. This is to remove, change color or whatever. So finally, what I want to show you here, let me go now image to image here and do this stuff here. We have the image and let me be super sure that is the medium one. And let's do same here now to show you to remove this object. Oh, I have to be in painting. Put there the brush there and let's start to brush here. So brush and brush and brush and selecting them and there. Okay, so go there, no problem. Okay. Don't be afraid and get getting a letter good area. So remember, it's always getting the context of your image. Okay. So this is okay. So probably here a little bit larger. Okay. I'm happy with this. So I want to remove 
this deer here so you have all the options remember to choose the model so i will work in painting model so i like this one so it's already selected and here so basically it is the keyword here is road uh, an nt road using the end the uh in painting model so this is like working in the previous workflow working there so pretty much the same so remember here we have also the dimension of the painting so the model was trained with this dimension and all the other options that you can change there and i'm happy with this let's generate and let's see what we have so we should have a similar results to the previous one actually we have and a strange car there and object. let's see what happened okay yeah so let me increase here so usually this one plays an influence so let's generate or sometimes it might happen that it put an object there so it still is putting something in the road oh let's see is that okay so it's having an object so probably making oh uh, okay so let me go uh whole picture refiner and i have uh, bum, 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 batch cam only mask just resize copy blur so probably increase a little bit the blur and the other thing that I wanted to do. So let's see what happens. So see the difference. So that's why now in paint anything much better. Sometimes working here can be a little bit tricky. So you're still getting something. So maybe the model also is not hey, helping a lot. And let's see. Realistic. Okay, let's use Dream Shaper also here. Okay, so now I move to Dream Shaper and let's see. Okay, so now, okay, the model wasn't helping a lot in this case, but a nice result. Look at that, added some lines there, but this is okay. But what is interesting that the mask, okay, it is also taking some part of the row here, but it is even though it is reconstructed that. So to show you something now, let me go here and use, for instance, and a standard model. Okay, so a standard model is usually when you have big mass, they tend to work well, but then is you have you now this kind of composition that you are taking different colors and so on, it might give you problems. So let's work with this one. Okay, let me click there. So probably also I forgot to change here the dimension. So this model was trained with a thousand twenty-four. Well, so I guess it's giving me their problem due to that. It's giving me an error. So let me go use the dimension of the image. Okay, uh, let's see that probably also is okay. Now it's working. Now it's giving an error. So let's move to okay playground so let's see if playground i like that model you can look for that one also and see with ai okay so since that playground is also given so sometimes you can get this error so xl so let's move to dream shaper okay okay so now dream shaper it's working so i need to track sometimes though so likely maybe the problem will be that i need to restart okay so i think maybe something related to the memory sometimes that happens okay what well, what i want to show you is the issue here okay so recall now that we were masking the image so see this mask is taking now some part of the terrain there and when you use this model basically changing everything here in the back this complete composition didn't manage to resolve that very well so this is the big advantage of the painting that the painting can can manage to deal with this transition okay so, and no matter what model you sh choose here so it might be the case now that one of them will be successful or probably increasing now the number of resolution here but 
it's not the case. No, you get the point that you should use in painting model when you are doing in painting. So pretty much that's all that I wanted to show you. And finally, just to show you that this case, I also work with upscaling and this is interesting. Uh, so I have here the original, so yeah, this is the original image. And as I mentioned here, when you zoom in, in the original image, there is a sign somewhere there that now I don't see it there, probably. Okay, that is the ox. Okay, so this is the original image. Okay, so you have the sign there. Ah, oh, I close it. And now I also I the zone ox scaling. So this is the scale it. Now using the same method here. Again, I have to move to Amazon because this is stuff I cannot do it locally. And ox scale image. And let's take a look at the deer and look at all the details that you are adding. So it's managed to reconstruct the eyes. Noise here is very, very nice, very good. Okay, so here, this wasn't easy, okay, by the way. So there is a lot that I have to work on this. Then this row also fantastic how I managed to reconstruct there. However, also here, the uh, uh, when you go here, the trees and everything, it's a very nice reconstruction, reconstruction. However, here we look at the sign there and then this is the fantasy. Okay. This is not the model up. So box scale, uh, this, okay. That's okay. So if I go here. See that here kind of, I'm quite sure that it's in a stop sign here. It put kind of a car. Okay. So it is failing there. So I'm quite sure that I can manage to reconstruct this stop sign, but I need to do more scaling and, uh, I did doing this for a hobby now. I know, but if somebody's interested. I'm quite sure that you can reconstruct that, but this is, this is fantastic. Now I have to say, I'll look at there, the reconstruction and everything, the details. Oh. Okay, so this is this is all. So I guess I need to do some videos on, on scaling. Uh, you have the cases in the video description to share to share. And at this point, yeah, feel free to 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 play with with these workflows. You no, know? and I recommend you know the paint anything and the concept that you we study here pretty much. If you are able not to install and paint anything in in Comfy UI, is this any stuff? And in focus also the same stuff. Focus is very robust, by the way. It has its own uh in painting model. Actually, if you look here, you will see that in paint focus that is very good here. You have it. It's a very good model, honestly. I have very good results with that model, but this one using segmentation is, is very robust. So that's all for this video. So I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have questions, also feel free just to post it in the comment section and see you next time. Bye.